Hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today we will play with ultraviolet light and what we will do you will see after my intro. Let's go ahead with my picture idea. My picture idea is very fast and simple explained because I have weekend now and I like to make me a cocktail and I'm a fan of gin tonic and now today I like to take pictures of my gin tonic but not the normal way with normal light, a glass of deco around. Now I like to take pictures with a ultraviolet light because I think the effect can be very cool but now you're wondering, okay, ultraviolet light, normally you need neon colors to get the special light effect but today you need only tonic water because in tonic water you have a lot of chenin and this reacts to the ultraviolet light and now you can see my tonic water will light up in blue and I think in combination with the violet light here and the blue of the tonic water will get a cool effect later on and this is my picture idea. Let's go ahead with the material for my tutorial and of course you need a cocktail with tonic water inside because with the tonic water we got the glow effect and in my case I will make gin tonic because I'm a gin fan and for gin tonic you need a glass, ice cubes, a cucumber or a lime and then tonic and gin and mix it all together and have a lovely gin tonic and in my case I take only a lime because I don't have a cucumber at the moment at home. So with the lime we get also a cool photo effect and then you can also buy the cheap tonic water if you don't like to drink it or you can buy the expensive tonic water if you like to drink later on your cocktail because it doesn't matter in optic with the ultraviolet light because both are glowing in the same. I have bought here three different tonic waters, the very cheap one, the middle cheap one and the expensive one and all nearly the same brightness with the ultraviolet light so it doesn't matter in optic only in taste later on with your gin tonic and then of course you need the ultraviolet light without it doesn't work. For the underground you can use a glass table, I don't have a glass table because of these I use the normal aquarium, it's very important that you have a transparent surface that you can put your light below your glass to light it up from below and it's very cool later on on your pictures but if you don't have a glass table you can also lighten up your glass later on from the background or from above it will makes also cool effects and for the background I used a black paper and I fixed it here with some tape on a plexiglass and that my background don't fall. I have also here a lot of books to make it to support my background that it don't fall. And then I have here a normal towel if I make a mess that I can clean it very easily and I take my pictures with a tripod and a remote switch and my camera will be the Olympus OMD 1 Mark II. The one he's filming me right now my lens will be the 17 meter lens I have actually also here on front and these are all my items so let's go ahead with my setup. My setup is very easy and very fast explained. Of course you have your glass underground and your black background and your cocktail were placed on your glass underground and now you have to place your ultraviolet light below your glass and now you can arrange also some ice cubes and water around your cocktail and now you can make your pictures frontally from above or from the side how you like to and this is my setup it's very easy so let's go ahead with my settings for my camera in my camera settings I have some variation because of these I will write down all my settings below each picture later on in my slideshow but my main setting in my cameras are, as always I shoot in manual mode focused manual and of course I switched off the image stabilization because I did my pictures with a tripod and a remote switch and my ISO was by 200 as I already explained my exposure time and my aperture are different because of these watch each picture in my slideshow and later on I did also some corrections in Lightroom here you will 
see an original picture out of the cam and here you will see my corrections doing with the Lightroom and I only reduced some lights and make some areas a bit darker and some areas a bit lighter, use a bit more clarity and also I reduce the saturation a bit, the dynamic a bit to avoid the violet light a bit and to get a clearer picture and there's are only some basics in Lightroom. And now I think we can go ahead with my results. And now nearly we have reached the end of my tutorial, but first I have a special tip for you. Make some glowing ice cubes. You can also use the ice cube mold and fill some tonic water inside and put it in the fridge. And now you have glowing ice cubes with the ultraviolet light. I think the effect is also very cool. And now I wish you a good time, good light, and we will see us in my next tutorial. Ciao!